Can we all stand for the invocation? <laughs> Our Father, which art in heaven, creator of heaven and earth, the mighty God who calls the stars by name, who holds the seven seas in the palms of his hand, who breathed into dust on creation's morning, and man became a living soul. As we gather here, we ask that you bless this day with your presence and your peace. We do so at the command of St. Paul, who wrote to pray for all men, for kings, and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. Dear Lord, make us the instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us show love. Where there is injury, let us show pardon. Where there is doubt, let us show faith. Where there is despair, let us show hope. Where there is darkness, let us show light. Where there is sadness, let us show joy. We pray for the peace of our nation, peace that can bring healing to our wounds, peace that can bring confidence for tomorrow and joy for today. When Solomon was anointed king of Israel, he requested one thing of God, a wise and understanding heart, saying that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. On this special day, we petition the courts of heaven to give Ambassador Nikki Haley a wise and understanding heart. Give her wisdom that is supernatural. King David writes, for he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your way. May the angelic escort of Almighty God go before Ambassador Haley to prepare her way and behind her to be her rear guard. As she has been a defender of Israel, so let her experience the promise of God given to Abraham and to all who are righteous. I will bless those who bless you. The word of God says in Micah 6, 8, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Lord God, King of the universe, as we encounter both trial and triumph, may we always act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. May all who hear this today receive this blessing that is recorded in the Word of God. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you. And may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the authority of your name and for your glory, we pray and ask these things. And all of God's children said, Amen and Amen. amen.